<laughs> Deputy, how nice of you to join in my humble office. So sorry about the sheriff's passing, but hey, congratulations to your promotion. Yeah, very unfortunate of what happened to him. Oh well, now we have someone new. Why? <laughs> I call you deputy because that's how I got to know you. Would you like me to call you something else? I see. Well, we will see about that, I suppose. So, what brings you here into my very own office? The sheriff. Interesting. And how can I help you with that? Seems like all you want from me, deputy, is just information. How disappointing. Maybe I'm losing my touch. Well, it depends now, isn't it? If I know something or not. Can I share it or not? Will you give me something in return or not? I do like that mischievous glint in your eyes, deputy. I assume you don't want to drink? Because if you came to me for information, then you most likely want to stay focused. A person's mind can wander around a bit, especially in this place with so, so many pretty ladies. So, so many distractions. So what do you want? <laughs> I didn't change the tone of my voice at all. But if you want something, get to the point. Time is money, dear deputy. I know you wouldn't really know for what they pay you, but trust me, I know it more than you would imagine. So your tongue is just as quick as your gum. Be careful, deputy. Not everyone likes a quick shooter. I'm more of a slow burn myself. Being quick to pull out your gun can get you into trouble, deputy. <laughs> I didn't talk about anything else so far. <laughs> ah, do sit down, deputy. It will be easier for us to talk that way. There. Now isn't this better? Now can I interest you in something? Maybe a drink? I know I asked before, but you did sit down. Maybe you want refreshments. Something to nibble on, perhaps? Something that is your taste. A massage, perhaps? To calm those nerves that are a little bit on edge since you become sheriff from a single deputy. So tell me, what can I do for you? <laughs> I would like to call you this until... <laughs> well, shall we say I'm... you earn another title in my eyes? It's not hard, deputy. I'm sure even you can handle it. <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg, nothing more, I can assure you, unless you want me to. So ask away. What about his death? Me? Oh, my sweet deputy, what would I get out of his death? The man owed me hundred dollars. Sure enough, the justice system takes care of these matters. I saw someone hang for less than fifty. Yet he was watching around town like he can do anything. Or is it just because he was the sheriff? Hmm. He was able to do as he pleased? Just because why not? Well, don't you think that's a little unfair? So if you ask me, the old dog deserve what he got. Hmm. What about me? Involved? <laughs> Oh, I am one of the most influential person in town. If I really wanted to get rid of him, I wouldn't make it look like either an accident or like he did it to himself, which I'm sure he did not. How do I know? 
News travel fast in this town, deputy. You will have no idea how fast it travels when a man of law dies here. Outlaws talk, and so do the town people. Direct answer, but I did, dear deputy. Hm. I told you, I got nothing out of his death. <sighs> I gave him warnings that if he doesn't pay me, there will be consequences of his actions. Whether he is the sheriff or not, I do not hurt people. <laughs> not even indirectly. All I wanted to do is tell his wife and his mistress that he come to see my girls a couple of times and that's where all his money went. Poor bastard. Other than that, I did not want to hurt him. I am a low-binding citizen after all. <laughs> well, sort of. <laughs> you don't need to look at me like this. I do what needs to be done. But killing? No, that's not my style. I don't like my hands getting dirty. But I see you already made up your mind about my involvement if you're flashing your handcuffs. So what are you gonna do? Arrest me? <laughs> you did, you... <laughs> well, what now, hmm? Deputy... You take me to jail? Will you punish me for being a bad girl? Hmm? <laughs> on what ground? No, what I meant, on what ground are the evidence or more point my direction? Surely you have no idea how things work. Even for a deputy, this is a sad attempt. Shot it? <laughs> hmm. What? Didn't you tell me to shut it? Can you finally decide what you want me to do? Be quiet. Talk. I'm not your lab dog to tell me what to do and when to do it. Or tell me how high should I jump and I will do it. I will not do that. If anyone out of the two of us, you are the one barking up the wrong tree, deputy. I am not only one of the most influential people in town, but also the richest. Pretty sure people will not be happy with you closing down the only saloon in town that provides quality services. Test them if you want. And like I said, I have nothing to do with the sheriff's death. But now I kind of wish I was. Know anything? <laughs> now that you handcuff me, why don't you make me talk, hmm? You have the upper hand, don't you, deputy? As far as I can tell... Handcuffs, hands behind my back. There's only so much I can resist. You would have an easy way of dealing with the problem at hand. Come on now, don't be shy. I saw the arsenal you carry around, deputy. <laughs> oh, you don't need to be bashful. Pretty sure we both could get a satisfying ending out of the situation we have right here. Yes, yes, make yourself comfortable, deputy, and let me just help you a little bit more. Now, now, you don't need to look at me like that. We both know that this isn't the first time you wanted me to sit here now, do you? Although I'm pretty pricey, I doubt the deputy could afford every information, everything I could give. <laughs> Did you think I'm talking about something else? I am still talking about you letting me go. Mostly because I did not do anything. Well, not with the late sheriff, God rest his soul. But you, my dear deputy, you at least still have a chance. <laughs> Unless you don't pay me back. You know, I've never been handcuffed before. 
It's quite exciting, I must say. I might have to introduce this here, once you let me go. And that... <laughs> I know you will do. Oh, I plead innocence until I breathe, deputy. And you will see why, if you want to know who did it. You're just going to have to let me go. Hmm. I know it is quite an interesting experience for you. <laughs> I told you, outlaws talk, not just a bit. I can't give you all the details, but I can tell you where they headed and who were they. As in, how they look like. Maybe I can hook you up with the girls who were with them. If or when you let me go, that is, right now you're lowering your chances minute by minute. <laughs> Do you think people care? The only reason why this town is still low-binding to some degree is because they have a place to let the steam out. Do you think they will stay the same if you close down my place? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Leave the handcuffs. I don't feel like talking right now. You're just going to have to make me earn it. So why don't you bust out your... Uh, best interrogation techniques and make me talk. Make me sing, deputy, and you will hear what you want. Maybe even more. There's only so much I can endure. Why my hands are behind my back. Handcuffs. So let's put it to a test, shall we? What? Well, my desk is quite sturdy. No, I just thought I ought it because why not? Something to remember later on, just in case you need it. So, what are you going to do now, hmm? How are you planning to proceed from the situation we have at hand? <laughs> Well, this is an interesting development, don't you think, deputy? No, but I was beginning to be uncomfortable as I did sit on your, well, gun. The thing is hard and it pushed my leg. So I do appreciate you moving me from the chair to the desk. Also, the view here is way better too. You two hands at the two side of me. Hmm. I must say, deputy, you are a bit intimidating right now. Mostly because of the position I am in. No, I'm not used to people trying to overpower me. Not to mention that I rarely spread my legs for anyone. Never mind for free. Yet here you are enjoying of it all. And enjoying it is to the fullest, I feel. Yeah, sure it is. I believe you only because I'm at gunpoint. <laughs> and I do hope you will cherish the memory, because it won't happen again. So now, are you ready to let me go? Or do we have to keep playing this cat and mouse game of ours? Don't get me wrong, it's quite interesting. I do like a good chase. I have never met a person like you, deputy. Ah, uh, hello. I'm not going to lie, this isn't the best time. So if you could come back later, in about three minutes would do. I'm guessing we are at the end game now. So, thanks. Now, deputy... What shall we do? <laughs> Good. <laughs> now, now, don't get all handsy now. Your time is up. <laughs> but before you go, let me ask you a question. Why do you care so much? Most people in town don't. It's just another person. Most towns are like that. 
<laughs> Interesting. Good men die young in a town like this, Sheriff. Sometimes not physically, but mentally. And they become the evil they swore to protect people from. <laughs> Nothing. Just keep that in mind and be careful. The girl you're looking for? Yes, the one who knows about the outlaws you're after. I will arrange a meeting with her. Wait for my invitation. Then you can talk. How does that sound? Good. Good. Now before you leave, though. This was fun. Maybe we should do this again next time we meet. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You're leaving this one with me, Sheriff. Just for... safekeeping. Who knows? Maybe we are gonna need it later on. <laughs> as fun as it was, Sheriff, I do have things to do now, so... If you may leave, you know where the door is. Bye-bye now.